So would you like some spring decorating ideas? Well, in today's video, I've got four tiered trays for you and I can't wait to show you. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm 71 years old and the only reason I say it is because if I can do it, you can do it too at any age. Oh, I love all my subscribers so dearly. You all mean the world to me to take the time to watch my videos and comment. Oh, you all are the best friends ever. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss any of these 2023 videos with a different theme every month. And this month it's Green Spring. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. So why do I do tear trays? Let me explain. To me, um, I think a lot of people are overwhelmed by all, sometimes all the stuff I do and, and you know, the mantles and everything, but they want to inject a little bit of a theme or decor every month. Like I said, you can come along with me and use my theme every single month, but it's a way you can decorate and redecorate on a small scale, just on a tiered tray. It could be one tiered, it could be just a cake plate with a cloche or just a cake plate. It could be two tiers, it could be three or whatever you want. But it's a way that you can kind of bring a smile to your face every time you walk by it because it's going to celebrate something that month. It could even be a birthday, anniversary, um, anything. You know, it could be a holiday, anything you want at all. And the best part is it's on a budget because most of my things come from Dollar Tree and a lot of these things you might use over and over again. And um, I think a lot of people are just really wanting to inject a little bit of some happiness every month that's a little bit different. You know, you might do fairies one month, you might do Valentine's one month, you might do Easter one month, you might do flowers one month, whatever it is. Anyway, enough of that. But that's why I do the tear trays to inspire you to just inject a little bit of a different theme, a little bit of happiness every month. My first one is going to be St. Patrick's Day. The next one is Flower and Fairies. And the next one is all about the gnomes and ferns. And the last one, you know my favorite, Baby Chicks. It's going to be Baby Chicks with Carrots. It's going to be absolutely adorable. So without further ado, here's my four tier trays for this month, for March. And I hope you get inspired and put together some little kind of display every month. I hope you love this. I hope you do get inspired and try one. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my first tier tray for March. And it's all about St. Patrick's Day. I've used my uh, tier tray that's got three tiers on it. You don't have to use that. If you have two tiers or even just one tier, if you have a cake uh, plate stand, you can use that and it looks adorable. We start at the top here. Also think about using some of your cards. Somebody sent me a St. Patrick's Day card and I included it in the tier tray with my little leprechaun. And he's got his pot of gold on his back, a cauldron with sparkly shamrocks and uh, shamrocks from Dollar Tree and ferns. It's all about green and gold. And I like to add a touch of purple to mine. So this is Happy St. Patrick's Day with some shamrocks, flowers. I think so you gotta have some gold coins. That's what it's all about. And on the bottom here, this little leprechaun just dove head in into a field of shamrocks and gold coins. Is he lucky? I think he is. <laughs> So for my little leprechaun and myself, I want to wish you a very happy St. Patrick's Day. Now let's take a look what the fairies are up to. Welcome to my next tier tray and it's all about the fairies. This is a simple two tiered tray, a wooden one from Hobby Lobby. And I'm using my brand new fairy door from Michaels. And of course my two fairies, Flora and Fauna are from Hobby Lobby. But I love my purples, my blues, some ferns. It just makes it so adorable. And I love using these little wood rounds as little stepping stones in their forest. So they're out tending to their flowers and soon they'll go inside and have a little feast. Here's Flora. She's got the, uh, she's all about the flowers. 
and fauna here. So easy, I just used two Dollar Tree little fairy doors at the bottom and this little fairy door at the top. I didn't even use a fairy house and it looks just so adorable. All right, these are precious little fairies. How beautiful would this be? Um, around a baby shower or in a little girl's room or in a bathroom or in a kitchen. You can put these anywhere and it'll bring a smile to your face every time you see it. All right, let's take a look at our next tier tray. My next tier tray is all about the gnomes in the forest. So here we have one of the houses I told you I made from a Dollar Tree box. It has a little door. I just gathered things from my yard. Here's one of my oversized mushrooms, a little welcome sign. And here's our first gnome. I have to say, they're a little confused because these houses, for the most part, are so small. They could not fit through that door or go into this door or fit in either one of these. So they're kind of confused. They thought this was the gnome forest. Well, it is. It's the forest of the little miniature gnomes. Here's one right here carrying a mushroom. He's the perfect size to live in these little dwellings. Ah, the brothers are sighing. They thought they found some houses that they could inhabit. I mean, it does say welcome. All right, on this one, I use my house on the top. I put my uh, red and white polka dot mushrooms on all tiers. And I just use different kinds of ferns. I love the, my, using my wood slices for steps. And uh, these little guys from Dollar Tree. So almost all of this is from Dollar Tree, except for the red and white mushrooms and the some of the ferns. But other than that, this is all Dollar Tree. All right, we're gonna say adieu <laughs> to the confused gnomes. And now it's time for one last tier tray and it's all about Easter. I can't wait to show you. This is the grand finale. This has my one of my favorite little baby spring animals. And those are chicks and baby ducks. There's a duck right there in the middle. This is my two-tiered tray. It's wood. And I wanted to look, create a look like the chicks were in the, the um, carrot garden. There's daffodils and white flowers coming up. There's these little pots. This is always a cute thing to do is to Put something in your little pots. You can turn them over. You can put flowers in them. And they're just all hatching all over the place. Just the perfect sign of spring, these little baby chicks. And now I also um, recommend using some green balls if you have it. It gives some height. And then of course I put some of the daffodils in this little pot back here. And a little bit of Spanish moss always looks good too. And I just added a couple of these. I think they're daffodils I'm pretty sure but they've got the orange and the yellow so it kind of brings together the carrots and the little baby chicks but I think it's so cute they're just kind of being hatched in the little carrot patch and all the flowers are coming up it's just so adorable you guys happy spring I hope you love these tear trays I hope you got truly inspired and I'm going to see you in the next video bye